Major Moxie here for Church Hill. Never been here? Don't know what it's about? If you do, leave a comment and let me know. Educate me. Thanks. We'll go down here later. It's kind of gooey, right? Oh! There's a crane right there in the water fishing while all these fish around it just jumping, teasing it. Like I promised, a walking tour of the ghost ruins of Churchill Fort. Come on, let's go. Fort Churchill State Park. So there's a map. I need to look at that. Oh, I've been to the cemetery. And then we got the cemetery. In 1884, the remains of the soldiers buried at the post cemetery were moved to Lone Pine Cemetery in Carson City. The remaining graves are those of Samuel and Eliza Buckland and five of their eight children. In 1935, the Civilian Conservation Corps under the National Park Service's guidance spent two years stabilizing the ruins and creating a viable state park, also creating camping and picnicking. No idea. As long as the museum and the visitor center. In 1860, the Pyramid Lake Paiute War affected the Pony Express. That's what this plaque's about. But you know, I'm only interested in letting everyone know. Locked for the winter. Not open today. Just got done with Lahontan. And I came back over here and we're at Fort Churchill. Seeing hospital, store, postal, quarters, officers. Warning, due to the structural integrity of the ruins and safety concerns, entering the buildings is prohibited. Please stay on the trails.
things are made of stucco. Major Moxie here for Church Hill. Never been here, don't know what it's about. If you do, leave a comment and let me know. Educate me, thanks. I like to find myself benchmarks. Fort Churchill was built in 1860, Nevada's first and largest military outpost until its abandonment in 1869. A few months later, Samuel L. Buckland purchased it for $750 at an auction. Some barracks, more barracks. Once for $750 just for the salvaged wood in the windows, and he basically emptied the whole military site of all usable scraps. Barracks and the mess hall. Living quarters for one company is approximately 100 men, consisting of three buildings. By 1866, barracks were made, but only partially finished. Mess hall, that's edges of building. It's got the ruins loop, 0.6 miles, not too bad. I think it's doable by most people. We definitely have rattlesnakes in the area. The finished fort. No known f photographs of Fort Churchill from its period of operation to existence today. Well, that's because Major Moxie wasn't here to take map pics. Got the guardhouse. Brawlers and thieves. Hospital was L-shaped to include kitchen and three small rooms. Definitely guarded. Storehouses. And last, the commander's office. the grand tour of the ruins hike. Let's go check out the camping and the river. I was quite taken back when I realized I wasn't just in a ghost town, but I was in a military fort, an abandoned military fort. And the only reason we have military in the desert was to fight Native Americans. And I was a little, a little taken back, in my opinion, on the settlers and the white man. And what they've done is this atrocious California Trail. But I need to keep my opinion to myself.
And there's the Carson River. Like I said, stream. And a summer. deep enough to put the GoPro in. River watershed. River water. That's stretching it. Oh, there's some water. I found some. Oh, gendered restroom. It's open and it's vaulted. Let's see if the water fountains are still on. It's still warm enough they might not be turning these guys off. Oh, still have water. It's the day use has all gendered restrooms, water, and access to the river. Cool. So we're at Buckland Station. It's part of the Pony Express. Buckland Station, built with the salvage materials from the abandoned Fort Ruins. Tools of Western Nevada, there are 24 Nevada State Parks. We're here, in this part of Nevada, giving you a little tiny glimpse. Buckland Station. This area's earliest residents were Native Americans who probably hunted game and gathered food along the riverbanks. Wow. We were just at Fort Churchill and now Buckland Station. Buckland Station Ranch was frequented by the soldiers that were stationed at Churchill Fort. They were provided with fresh produce from this garden and a saloon. And so a little garden. I can smell the vaulted toilet from here. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, the longest ride. The spring. Oh, I can't read that. The toilet smells too bad. You'll have to pause that if you want to read that.
closed. They do have a museum. It's a dollar for adults.